Hello everybody, it is Clash's Gut here with how to make a ping pong game in Scratch. So, let's first get rid of this cat and paint our own sprite. We want to make a rectangle and make the outline 8. So, zoom in a bit and, yep, make a small rectangle in the middle. Make sure it's centered. And let's go back to the code. When clicked, forever, go to X, let's make that negative 190, and Y, set that to mouse Y. So now that bat will follow your mouse pointer, which is very, very cool. So next we have to make the actual ball. So same thing, we can get rid of that outline for now and make the fill black and go in and hold down shift while making a circle makes a perfect circle. So make sure that's centered and go back to the code. Again, when clicked forever, move, let's say go seven steps. Now make a variable, first delete the my variable and make a variable called SPD and for this sprite only and we don't want that to show, set SPD to 7 and move SPD steps, which stands for speed if you didn't realize. Now we want it to have a pick random and turn and a point in direction. Pick random, let's go 70 to 110. And we want to if on edge bounce and if touching sprite one then turn let's go 140 degrees and we want it to move get in a multiplication speed times pick random 1.7 to 2.3 steps. So don't forget to save your project. Let's go in and test. So there we go. We have that ball coming. And yes, it will rebound off our paddle. Pretty good. This ball is a teeny bit slow. So if you want to be this slow, you can just leave it the same. But I might change that speed to, let's say, 9 and test it again. Yes, that's a bit better. Now let's make the AI enemy. Just duplicate the paddle. And then we want it to go to X190 and Y. Um, we want it to be, oops, first change that to Sprite 2. Y position of Sprite 2. But instead of a go to, we want it to glide. Let's go 0.5 seconds to X190 and Y, Y position of Sprite 2. Let's try that. Actually, no, wait. First in this code, put in a AND. Actually, no. Let's change that to a OR variable. OR if touching Sprite 3 or Sprite 1. Then we want to turn 140 degrees. So let's try now. Oh, what's going on here? Let's go inside and press play. Oh, yep, we have a problem here. We want this ball to go to zero, zero. And we want to wait one second before it actually starts. So let's go in. There we go. So now we have a functional AI enemy and we have a ball. So this is basically the basics of the Pong game. Now to make it look better and add some other stuff like scoring. So let's go to backdrops and we want that to be bitnap and let's just make a light grayish background to make it look better. And now we want to go back to the ball and we want to make some new variables called player score and 
enemy score. So we want to double click on those so they don't actually show what it says. So we want to put the enemy score over here. Oops. And the player score over here. Move those up a bit. Good. Cool. So now let's go in here and let's put another if statement. If. Let's do a smaller than. And we want to go if. X position is smaller than. So let's say move this over here. Is smaller than. Negative 229. Then I want it to change enemy score by one, which means the enemy has got its ball over here. We didn't manage to block it, so it changes the enemy score by one, which means it has won a point. Okay, so we want this to restart again, obviously when it does that so we're just going to click here right click duplicate and put this in here and of course we want a wait one second and let's do that and if it's x position is bigger than positive 229 they were, we wanted to change the player score by one, and same thing here. Cool. So, let's go in and test it. So, I'm just going to purposely not block it and see what happens. Yes, it changed the enemy score by one, and it goes back to the middle and restarts the game. Let's see if I can get one score in the enemy. Let's see if I can get up by one so obviously you can tweak this game to make it harder or easier depending on how you like it yes oh no there was a problem there it hit there but did not do anything okay let's see let's try this over there 299 is okay change player score by one this should work let's see why it's not working let's go two two five and change that actually to negative two two five and i'm just gonna disable this for a second to see if it actually works there we go now it works cool now obviously we have to make that so it's actually the enemy moves which is pretty good so let's see so this is a very basic game which is fun to play and obviously you can make a lot more things to it you can make it a lot more advanced and I am gonna just do a bit of polishing and making this game look a bit better so we want like a start screen so let's just Move all the script off the when clicked and go when click. We want it actually to hide. So, same here when clicked, hide, and when clicked, hide. And in this ball variable, we're gonna go hide variable enemy score and hide variable player score. So, when clicked, everything disappears. Now, let's paint a new sprite. And let's go with the outline, black outline. Let's make it eight, same as the paddles. Go in here and make a black rectangle. And let's, yeah, I think we can make the outline thicker. And then with text, you can use whatever writing you want. I'm just gonna go handwriting with this one. We wanna type start. Oh, we have to change that color to black so we can actually see it so move that to the middle make it a bit larger so it fits in most of it cool 
So that can be our small start sign. So when clicked, we want this to show. And let's go forever. If else, want to set size to 100 here and set size to 110. So if touching mouse pointer, then set size to 110. And we want it to set, oops set brightness effect to 10 and in here we want to go clear graphic effects so now if I hover over it it actually goes bigger and becomes brighter pretty cool now we want that to go to X let's say just 0 and Y let's move it down a bit negative 35 see how that works over here pretty good and now let's make a title to actually tell us what game this is so same thing actually I'm not gonna make the rectangle this time just gonna use text make it black text and handwriting same thing let's call this ping pong game obviously you can come up with your own game title make it more creative but for this tutorial I'm just gonna use the very very basic game basic name and let's see if we can move it up here don't forget to occasionally save your project and pretty good so when clicked oh we want to forever go to 0 85 pretty good so now if we click the start nothing happens so let's make a broadcast message one you can change the message name, but it doesn't really matter. If it's touching the mouse pointer and mouse down, which means it's been clicked, then broadcast message one, hide. So when I receive message one, I want to hide. And in all these scripts, we want it to be when I receive message one, when I receive message one, and when I receive message one. So that is basically all. Let's test it now. So this is the start screen. It says the name, start button, you click it, and you can't see the sprites because we haven't put in a show block. So we want them to show when it receives the message one, which basically means let's start playing the game now. So let's try again. And this is not showing because obviously we want want it to when clicked forever show. So, oops, oh no, not hide. When clicked, show. Cool. Let's do again. Start and yes, the game will start. However, as you notice, you cannot see our scores over here. So, let's go in the start. We want it to show variable enemy score and show variable rev, variable player score so let's try this again click start everything hides we want to click start here and yes now the scores are there however we obviously want to set the scores to zero so set enemy score to zero and set player score to zero and here we go this should be perfect yes zero zero and then we can start playing the game we're gonna let the enemy score yep one zero let's start again and the scores reset back to zero zero and there we go you've created your very own basic pong game so thank you for watching with clashes got don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for any more videos about scratch again thanks for watching and see you next time